ഹായ് ഗുഡ് മോർണിംഗ് ടു ഓൾ വെൽക്കം ബാക്ക് ടു എസ് ജി കെ ഇംഗ്ലീഷ് എലമെൻ്ററി ഇംഗ്ലീഷ് ഗ്രാമർ ഐ ഹോപ്പ് യു ആർ റിവൈസിങ് ദ ലെസൺസ് ദാറ്റ് വി ഹാവ് ഓൾറെഡി സീൻ ലെറ്റ് എസ് കം ടു ദ വെരി ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻ്റ് ആൻഡ് ദ മോസ്റ്റ് ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻ്റ് ലെസൺ ഓഫ് അവർ സ്കീം ദറ്റ് ഈസ് ടെൻസസ് ഓക്കേനാ Uh, there may be many shortcuts and short forms to study tense but i say uh, this is a fundamental of our language or any language how to write the verbs according to tense and maintaining the subject to verb agreement different verbs different subjects how to write them according to time that is tense time yesterday today and tomorrow yesterday today and tomorrow okay so how to write it how to understand it how to make sentences that is very important very very important as you know let us begin with the present simple tense see present simple all tenses will have a structure a word order present simple to write you must follow the structure s plus v1 you know verb has got three forms v1 v2 v3 present past past to participle so in such a way how to write a sentence s plus v1 any verb you have to follow this structure s plus v1 according to the subject subject first person how will you say i eat a mango subject plus v1 i eat eat ate eaten i write a letter i study a poem okay or whatever be i go to kakinada i come okay whatever be okay i eat a mango first person singular we eat mangoes plural we plural so mango should be plural mangoes yes you eat a mango and you eat mangoes he eats a mango do you remember that if the subject is third person singular the verb takes s or es at the end to make it singular why because if the subject is singular the verb must be singular and if the subject is plural the verb also must be plural so he eats a mango only with third person singular we have to use s or es what is third person singular whenever we speak about a third person which means all people when we speak about them they are third persons as in any name man or woman he becomes she that is all okay now raju rasa all third persons when we speak of them when they speak of us or we okay or me or you or him third person so when we speak about a third person we have to use yes or es do you remember three rules we told a noun becomes a plural and a verb becomes a singular when s or es is added second rule if the subject is singular the verb must be singular and vice versa and other way okay now subject verb agreement the subject should agree with the verb in person okay now which means subject is singular verb should be singular for example they eat mangoes he eats a mango and they eat mangoes it is a structure of present simple s plus v1 i we first person you you second person he she it and they third persons okay now yes so can you say another sentence like this i write a letter we write letters you write a letter you write letters he writes a letter and they write letters okay now i drive a car we drive cars you drive a car you drive cars he drives a car and he drive cars they drive cars okay na yes person this structure okay na 
that is the s plus v1 is the structure of present simple tense see this is statement no statement sentence are of four types assertive or declarative which means statements okay na this is statements so can you make it a negative i eat a mango with the verb is finite and in simple tense form you have to use do does or did this we have seen previous class that is why i am not repeating i mean explaining it see i eat means how will you say i do not eat i do not eat we do not eat you do not eat he does not eat because singular do plural does singular he does not and they do not in present suppose of if this past it would go did not that's all okay na so i do not eat that is negative make it a negative i eat a mango i do not eat a mango we eat mangoes we do not eat mangoes in that way you can change all these sentences into negative i write a letter i do not write we write letters we do not write letters you do not he does not okay na in that way you must be able to change also is it clear to you yes if the verb is finite eat v1 this v1 okay na finite and in simple tense form to make a verb negative you have to use do does or did this is we have already seen this way i am moving fast okay na if you not understood make a comment i will answer sure then negative is made so make it a question questions are of two types we have seen auxiliary question and question word question do i eat it is a question now do i eat does he eat do they eat do you eat do you write do they study does he study does she study is it not so auxiliary question make it a question word question how do i eat how do they eat how does he eat how does she eat when does she eat is it not so yes so you can make it to negative auxiliary question question word question so sentences are in this way present simple means subject plus v1 subject plus v1 when v1 is added you must remember that you have to add s or es with the third person singular you can say any word i study i play i sleep singular he studies he plays he sleeps he performs he comes he goes he means any a man she means any woman yes start yes that is all i go to school every day so we are coming to that okay so this is the structure of present simple s plus v1 i eat we eat you eat you eat he eats and they eat take any other verb we can say like this okay na s plus what is that v1 is it clear to you yes so when do we use present simple that's more important okay na number 1 habitual actions most imp important the usage habitual actions whatever we do habitually generally okay na generally so for example my routine daily routine i get up at 5 o'clock then whatever you do i pray for 10 minutes i take bath so from morning to evening can you write please write a paragraph take a notebook and write write the heading my daily routine then you will have an idea of how do you perform a day you just write please take paper and write when do you get up is it 5 o'clock 6 o'clock 7 o'clock you write i get up if you write about some i uh, mean somebody else he gets up your brother i get up at 5 o'clock but my brother gets up at 6 o'clock gets yes then what do you do i mean um, i pray for 5 10 uh, minutes then from there onwards up to when you go to sleep you write a paragraph see i go to sleep at uh, 10 pm okay my daily routine you must write a paragraph to know how to write s plus v1 all subject to yourself no i get up i take my breakfast uh, then i go to school i come back from school 
I study my lessons, I do my homework, then um, evening prayer at, uh, at, at what time? 7.30, uh, supper at uh, 8.30, uh, then recreation for half an hour, then I go to my study room, I study for one hour, I go to sleep at 10 o'clock. You must write one paragraph on that. So, habitual actions, whatever we do regularly, I go to school every day. Isn't it so? So, so, so words like every day. See, uh, I go to, uh, I mean, um, church on Sundays. Uh, we go for a picnic uh, every summer. This kind of words every day, every week, uh, every summer. That kind of words are there. You can be sure, send person sure that it is present simple. S plus V1. Habitual actions. Then, you see, I go to school every day. You can write here. I go to school every day. I get up at 5 o'clock. Habitual actions. Number two, universal truth. What is truth which will never change? Something which will never change. Universal truth. The sun rises in the east. The earth is round. Is it not so? God loves you. I don't say God loves you. God is one. Singular. Okay, na? God loves you. Don't make a mistake. Because God, so many are, I don't think that you can say God love you. No, God loves you. Universal truth. Okay, now. Yes. Then, permanent actions. You may not find this uh, sentence, this words in the grammar books any. Because to make you understand, I wrote in this way. Permanent actions. For example, I have a car. I am having a car. What's the difference? I have a car means my car is permanent with me forever. I am having a car means what? At present I have a car. I am having a car. May not be mine. I have a house means my house. I am having a house means at present I am having a house. Maybe rented also. Okay, na? I have a house and I am having a house. That is permanent. All permanent actions should be in present symbol. Whatever is permanent. Whatever you consider, you think to be permanent should be written in Simple present, whereas whatever is temporary should be in present continuous tense. At present only, present, we are coming to that present continuous later on. Okay. Next comes the immediate future. We start for America tomorrow. Tomorrow is future, but immediate, very near. Okay, not far away, very near. So it can be expressed using present symbol. Our examinations begin on Monday. You see, is it not so? On Monday. Uh, next, okay, our examinations begin. Uh, the school reopens uh, on 23rd of this month. So, reopens. Future which is immediate should be expressed using present simple tense. Then, printed matters. All printed matters are permanent. That's why. All printed matters are permanent. That's why Shakespeare says, he says many things now in his books. He died centuries before. But if you can say, the Bible says, love your neighbor. The Bible says, today's newspaper says, all printed materials are permanent. So it should be in a present simple tense. These are the main uses of, I mean, a present simple. Number one. Habitual actions, whatever happens regularly, habitually, as part of your habit or regularly happening, should be in present symbol. Okay, next comes a universal truth. What I repeat, whatever can be considered to be universal truth, truth that will never change, fundamental truth, universal truth, general truth, that should be in present uh, simple tense then comes uh, i mean uh, permanent actions in day to day life whatever uh, we consider it to be permanent you see uh, should be in a present uh, simple see generally all our sentences whenever we use uh, part of our life is present i play i sleep i wake up whatever see whatever you do you see should be uh, part of your daily life now. So that should be in present symbol. Now comes a uh, future which is immediate, not far away. Our examinations begin on Monday and next. 
or printed materials all printed materials are permanent so it should be in a present simple tense now let us see how to fill in the blanks using some verbs for example raju does tv every day how will you fill that the verb given is watch raju watches tv yes or yes every day means present simple why because habitual actions it comes under habitual actions okay now so he watches tv every day or the earth revolves around the sun universal truth the earth revolves around the sun oh the next day begins is it okay is it clear begins not begin the next time begins on monday okay next time begins on monday yes what is the name what's the name how do you do is it not so generally we ask when we talk how do you do you see what's the name where do you come from? where do you come from where do you come from how do you do so when we talk it should be in present simple we cannot go for any past or something when you speak face to face when you meet a person when you talk to him directly how do you use we have to use present simple how do you do how are you hello how are you you mean no hello how are you how do you do i am okay i am okay conversation are you okay yes i am okay yes i am okay how do you do i am doing well i am fine all present simple s plus v1 okay now conversations you are use is present simple yes ah uh, then what's the name uh, is he what do snakes eat what do because snakes plural what do snakes eat what does a snake eat what does a snake eat generally generally a snake eats ah uh, several things i don't know what all things are there okay now a snake generally eats so what do what do they eat what do snakes eat do eat does eat plural do singular does what do snakes eat in this way you should be able to fill in the blanks that's the way it is asked in examinations okay now is this are all very simple sentences i hope it is clear to you raju watches tv every day watches because third person singular s or es should be added because habitual action present simple s plus v1 plus s or es watches tv every day the earth revolve not revolves there also yes because a universal truth present simple s plus v1 yes or es should be added next comes sir i mean uh, the next day begins because future which is immediate okay now yes present simple so yes begins what is your name see day to day activities we talk what is your name how do you do etc or what do snakes eat in this way should be able to fill in the blanks when it is asked for examinations i hope it is clear to you Uh, the video has become little bit longer than it used to be more than 10 minutes i think it is nearing around 15 minutes no problem i hope you are watching up to the last uh, because tense i consider to be the most important part of any grammar or any spoken uh, language without knowing the tense your language will not have any uh, base or fundamental see the fundamental should be strong then only you can uh, nobody can beat you otherwise you will be uh, managing using some words that is all short tricks are there by, by which you can uh, manage somehow suppose if you go and stay in mumbai for 6 months you will be able to learn the language of the place but you won't be able to have the grip of language to face an examination you won't be able to to face an examination you won't be able to so study tense thoroughly so summary of what we have seen tense present simple s plus v1 structure is not so i eat we eat you eat you eat he eats and they eat uh, do i eat uh, i do not eat do i eat how do i eat when do i eat structure usages habitual universal truth permanent immediate future printed matters fill in the blanks i hope it is clear to you if any doubt is there please inform me by making your comments 
and I will surely answer them. Thank you for watching. Meet you in the next video. Thank you.